So this is going to be my longest passage to date. The plan is to sail across Lake Ontario up into the St. Lawrence and visit Bolt Castle in uh, Alexandria Bay. The winds are looking good. Um, we've decided to actually leave overnight tonight on Friday and catch the winds for as long as we can because they're supposed to die out at the beginning of next week. Charging up the GPS, GoPro, iPad. So we left the marina around 9.30 and we reached the Burlington Bridge for the 10.30 opening. Uh, maybe not yet. <laughs> yeah. It's so hard to tell. It's got to be high enough. What do you think? I don't know. I'd what say it, it is now. Uh, <laughs> That's crazy. Has this ever looked to me? Um, Lots of room. What does that mean? Don't know. I don't know. There was such a beautiful red full moon. It's too bad my camera wouldn't show it. Once we got through the channel, we got the sails up and we just had the most relaxing sail overnight. You gonna sleep right here? It's almost 11 o'clock. I just had my second sleep and I didn't get enough. Haven't been a lot of wind. Uh, Nigel's up there somewhere. Uh, it's hot. Nigel's been on watch the last three hours. What is that big mass you're making on the boat? Nigel decided to set up a spinnaker. This would be the first time we'd ever tried it. It's uh, not exactly high speed sailing today. Not a whole lot to do. Four knots downwind, a couple of big boats going by. We are just off New York over there. It's smoking hot. But nice and flat. So after a bit of fiddling around, we finally figured this out. We also actually figured out that I don't have a spanker. Pretty sure this is a jank. But it made a difference. The speed went up a bit, and it was nice to kill some time. Just finished our first 24 hours and we made just over 100 nautical miles today. Um, not a lot of wind, 
overnight or in the morning, but it's been very steady all afternoon and it's starting to die down a bit now. But uh, yeah, we're more than halfway up the lake, I'd say. Haven't seen land for a while. So it's Sunday morning and we are, I guess, officially about halfway through our second day. Um, we left maybe 36 hours ago. Last night I was just so tired. I, uh, I was on till midnight and I could hardly stay awake for the last hour. And Nigel actually took over and uh, we had to we took down the Jenniker. It was the wind was dying and it was flopping around and so we put up the jib again and so I helped him a little bit and then I just kind of fell into bed and I slept. Um, you know, probably the best that I have yet. It's still hard. You don't feel the boat, you feel the changes. Um, so when the wind dies or Nigel's doing something with the sails or something, I, I noticed that, but I actually didn't uh, wake up till after five this morning before I got out of bed. I assumed it was only three in the morning um, when I was supposed to go back on watch, but uh, yeah, Nigel must have, he was a hero, did the whole night for me, so that was really cool. He's uh, sleeping now, um, I've been out here for a couple hours. Put the Jenniker um, back up. And, you know, we're doing about four knots probably. It's pretty nice and flat. But it has been pretty steady, which is nice. What you doing, Nigel? What you doing? Oh, well, Sunday this morning, some elf or something tied, tied the, the, uh, the, the clue onto the tack connection, like the clue in the tack back. Nice heavy bolt rope here was at the uh, was acting as the leech the leech of the sail instead of the luff of the sail. So it's not flying better yet. Well, that was a test I set up for Nigel this morning. It took him a long time to figure <laughs> yeah. it out, but um... I'm sitting looking at it going, ah, it's not flying like that. We enjoyed some nice sailing conditions for the rest of the day. It really was hot though. So I would sit up front in the shade of the sail, dip my feet in the water and try and cool off. By the time we reached the end of the lake, it had gotten so hot that we had to find other ways to cool off. <laughs> I can blur that out. I think we were only doing about three knots here, but I learned you can't hang around. I feel like I almost missed the boat. No.
As we entered the St. Lawrence, we now had the U.S. on starboard and Canada was to port. This was a really busy waterway. Lots of boats and lots of wake. finally reached Heart Island around 7.30 where we would drop the anchor and watch the sunset. Please join us next time as we take a look at Bolt Castle and we start our homeward journey, making a stop in Kingston along the way. Tragically hip way.